Bali Balinese, is a province of Indonesia and an island on the westernmost of the Lesser Sunda Islands. Located on the east of Java and west of Lombok, the province includes the island of Bali and a few smaller neighboring islands, notably Nusa Penida, Nusa Lombongan and Nusa Seningan. The provincial capital, Denpasar, is the most populous city in the Lesser Sunda Islands and the second largest in eastern Indonesia after Makassar. Bali is the only Hindu-majority province in Indonesia, with 83.5% of the population adhering to Balinese Hinduism. Bali is Indonesia's main tourist destination, which has seen a significant rise in tourists since the 1980s. Tourism-related business makes up 80% of its economy. It is renowned for its highly developed arts, including traditional and modern dance, sculpture, painting, leather, metalworking and music. The Indonesian International Film Festival is held every year in Bali. In March 2017, TripAdvisor named Bali as the world's top destination in its Traveler's Choice Award. Bali is part of the Coral Triangle, the area with the highest biodiversity of marine species. In this area alone, over 500 reef building coral species can be found. For comparison, this is about seven times as many as in the entire Caribbean. Most recently, Bali was the host of the Miss World 2013 and 2018 annual meetings of the International Monetary Fund and the World Bank Group. Bali is the home of the Subak Irrigation System, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is also home to a unified confederation of kingdoms composed of ten traditional royal Balinese houses, where each house rules a specific geographic area. The confederation is the successor of the Bali Kingdom. The royal houses are not recognized by the government of Indonesia, however, they originate before Dutch colonization. History Ancient Bali was inhabited around 2000 BCE by Austronesian people who migrated originally from Southeast Asia and Oceania through maritime Southeast Asia. Culturally and linguistically, the Balinese are closely related to the people of the Indonesian archipelago, Malaysia, the Philippines and Oceania. Stone tools dating from this time have been found near the village of Sekik in the island's west. In ancient Bali, nine Hindu sects existed, namely Pasupada, Bhairawa, Siwa Shidanta, Waisnawa, Bada, Brahma, Rezi, Sora, and Gunapatya. Each sect revered a specific deity as its personal godhead. Inscriptions from 896 and 911 do not mention a king, until 914, when Sri Kesarivarma is mentioned. They also reveal an independent Bali, with a distinct dialect, where Buddhism and Sivaism were practiced simultaneously. Mpu Sindok's great-granddaughter, Mahendradatta married the Bali king Udayana Warmadewa around 989, giving birth to Erlanga around 1001. This marriage also brought more Hinduism and Javanese culture to Bali. Princess Sakalandukarana appeared in 1098. Saradipa reigned from 1115 to 1119, and Jayasakti from 1146 until 1150. Jayapangas appears on inscriptions between 1178 and 1181, while Adikantikatana and his son Paramasvara in 1204. Balinese culture was strongly influenced by Indian, Chinese, and particularly Hindu culture, beginning around the 1st century AD. The name Bali Dwipa Bali Island has been discovered from various inscriptions, including the Blanjong Pillar inscription written by Sri Kesari Warmadewa in 914 AD and mentioning Waladwipa. It was during this time that the people developed their complex irrigation system Subak to grow rice in wet field cultivation. Some religious and cultural traditions still practiced today can be traced to this period. The Hindu Majapahit Empire 1293 AD on eastern Java founded a Balinese colony in 1343. The uncle of Hayam Wurik is mentioned in the charters of 1384-86. A mass Javanese immigration to Bali occurred in the next century when the Majapahit Empire fell in 1520. Bali's government then became an independent collection of Hindu kingdoms which led to a Balinese national identity and major enhancements in culture, arts, and economy. The nation with various kingdoms became independent for up to 386 years until 1906, when the Dutch subjugated and repulsed the natives for economic control and took it over. Topic. 
Portuguese contacts The first known European contact with Bali is thought to have been made in 1512, when a Portuguese expedition led by Antonio Abreu and Francisco Serrao sighted its northern shores. It was the first expedition of a series of bi-annual fleets to the Moluccas, that throughout the 16th century usually travelled along the coasts of the Sunda Islands. Bali was also mapped in 1512, in the chart of Francisco Rodriguez, aboard the expedition. In 1585, a ship foundered off the Bukit Peninsula and left a few Portuguese in the service of Diwa Aging. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Dutch East Indies. In 1597, the Dutch explorer Cornelis de Houtman arrived at Bali, and the Dutch East India Company was established in 1602. The Dutch government expanded its control across the Indonesian archipelago during the second half of the 19th century see Dutch, East Indies. Dutch political and economic control over Bali began in the 1840s on the island's north coast, when the Dutch pitted various competing Balinese realms against each other. In the late 1890s, struggles between Balinese kingdoms in the island's south were exploited by the Dutch to increase their control. In June 1860, the famous Welsh naturalist, Alfred Russell Wallace, travelled to Bali from Singapore, landing at Bulliling on the north coast of the island. Wallace's trip to Bali was instrumental in helping him devise his Wallace Line theory. The Wallace Line is a faunal boundary that runs through the strait between Bali and Lombok. It has been found to be a boundary between species. In his travel memoir The Malay Archipelago, Wallace wrote of his experience in Bali, of which has strong mention of the unique Balinese irrigation methods. I was both astonished and delighted, for as my visit to Java was some years later, I had never beheld so beautiful and well-cultivated a district out of Europe. A slightly undulating plain extends from the seacoast about 10 or 12 miles 16 or 19 kilometers inland, where it is bounded by a fine range of wooded and cultivated hills. Houses and villages, marked out by dense clumps of coconut palms, tamarind and other fruit trees, are dotted about in every direction, while between them extend luxurious rice grounds, watered by an elaborate system of irrigation that would be the pride of the best cultivated parts of Europe. The Dutch mounted large naval and ground assaults at the Sanner region in 1906 and were met by the thousands of members of the royal family and their followers who rather than yield to the superior Dutch force committed ritual suicide to avoid the humiliation of surrender. Despite Dutch demands for surrender, an estimated 200 Balinese killed themselves rather than surrender. In the Dutch intervention in Bali, a similar mass suicide occurred in the face of a Dutch assault in Klungkun. Afterward the Dutch governors exercised administrative control over the island, but local control over religion and culture generally remained intact. Dutch rule over Bali came later and was never as well established as in other parts of Indonesia such as Java and Maluku. In the 1930s, anthropologists Margaret Mead and Gregory Battison, artists Miguel Covarrubias and Walter Spies, and musicologist Colin McPhee all spent time here. Their accounts of the island and its peoples created a Western image of Bali as an enchanted land of aesthetes at peace with themselves and nature. Western tourists began to visit the island. The sensuous image of Bali was enhanced in the West by a quasi-pornographic 1932 documentary Virgins of Bali about a day in the lives of two teenage Balinese girls whom the film's narrator Dean Dickison notes in the first scene, bathe their shamelessly nude bronze bodies. Under the looser version of the Hays Code that existed up to 1934, nudity involving civilized, i.e. white, women was banned, but permitted with uncivilized, i.e. all non-white women, a loophole that was exploited by the producers of Virgins of Bali. The film, which mostly consisted of scenes of topless Balinese women was a great success in 1932, and almost single-handedly made Bali into a popular spot for tourists. Imperial Japan occupied Bali during World War II. It was not originally a target in their Netherlands East Indies campaign, but as the airfields on Borneo were inoperative due to heavy rains, the Imperial Japanese Army decided to occupy Bali, which did not suffer from comparable weather. The island had no regular Royal Netherlands East Indies Army troops. There was only a native auxiliary corps Prajoda, corps Prajoda consisting of about 600 native soldiers and several Dutch KNIL officers under the command of KNIL Lieutenant Colonel W.P. Rudenberg. 
On 19 February 1942 the Japanese forces landed near the town of Senor The island was quickly captured. During the Japanese occupation, a Balinese military officer, Gusti Nagura Rai, formed a Balinese Freedom Army. The harshness of Japanese occupation forces made them more resented than the Dutch colonial rulers. Independence from the Dutch In 1946, the Dutch constituted Bali as one of the thirteen administrative districts of the newly proclaimed state of East Indonesia, a rival state to the Republic of Indonesia, which was proclaimed and headed by Sukarno and Hatta. Bali was included in the ''Republic of the United States of Indonesia'' when the Netherlands recognized Indonesian independence on 29 December 1949. The first governor of Bali, Anak Aging Bagas Shuteya, was appointed by President Sukarno in 1958, when Bali became a province. Contemporary <inaudible> 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 The 1963 eruption of Mount Aging killed thousands, created economic havoc and forced many displaced Balinese to be transmigrated to other parts of Indonesia. Mirroring the widening of social divisions across Indonesia in the 1950s and early 1960s, Bali saw conflict between supporters of the traditional caste system, and those rejecting this system. Politically, the opposition was represented by supporters of the Indonesian Communist Party PKI and the Indonesian Nationalist Party PNI, with tensions and ill-feeling further increased by the PKI's land reform programs. An attempted coup in Jakarta was put down by forces led by General Suharto. The army became the dominant power as it instigated a violent anti-communist purge, in which the army blamed the PKI for the coup. Most estimates suggest that at least 500,000 people were killed across Indonesia, with an estimated 80,000 killed in Bali, equivalent to 5% of the island's population. With no Islamic forces involved as in Java and Sumatra, upper caste PNI landlords led the extermination of PKI members. As a result of the 1965 66 upheavals, Suharto was able to maneuver Sukarno out of the presidency. His new order Government re-established relations with Western countries. The pre-war Bali as paradise was revived in a modern form. The resulting large growth in tourism has led to a dramatic increase in Balinese standards of living and significant foreign exchange earned for the country. A bombing in 2002 by militant Islamists in the tourist area of Kuta killed 202 people, mostly foreigners. This attack, and another in 2005, severely reduced tourism, producing much economic hardship to the island. Geography <inaudible> 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 The island of Bali lies 3.2 kilometers, 2.0 miles east of Java and is approximately 8 degrees south of the equator. Bali and Java are separated by the Bali Strait. East to west, the island is approximately 153 kilometers, 95 miles wide and spans approximately 112 kilometers, 70 miles north to south. Administratively, it covers 5780 square kilometers, 2230 square miles or 5577 square kilometers, 2153 square miles without Nusa Penida district. Its population density is roughly 750 people per square kilometer. 1,900 people per square mile. Bali's central mountains include several peaks over 2,000 meters (6,600 feet) in elevation and active volcanoes such as Mount Bachur. The highest is Mount Aging (3,031 meters, 9,944 feet), known as the Mother Mountain, which is an active volcano rated as one of the world's most likely sites for a massive eruption within the next 100 years. In late 2017 Mount Aging started erupting and large numbers of people were evacuated, temporarily closing the island's airport. Mountains range from center to the eastern side, with Mount Aging the easternmost peak. Bali's volcanic nature has contributed to its exceptional fertility and its tall mountain ranges provide the high rainfall that supports the highly productive agriculture sector. South of the mountains is a broad, steadily descending area where most of Bali's large rice crop is grown. The northern side of the mountain slopes more steeply to the sea and is the main coffee-producing area of the island, along with rice, vegetables and cattle. 
The longest river, Aying River, flows approximately 75 kilometers (47 miles). See list of rivers of Bali. The island is surrounded by coral reefs. Beaches in the south tend to have white sand while those in the north and west have black sand. Bali has no major waterways, although the Ho River is navigable by small sampan boats. Black sand beaches between Pasit and Kladingduka are being developed for tourism, but apart from the seaside temple of Tan Alot, they are not yet used for significant tourism. The largest city is the provincial capital, Denpasar, near the southern coast. Its population is around 491,500 Bali's second largest city is the old colonial capital, Singaraja, which is located on the north coast and is home to around 100,000 people. Other important cities include the beach resort, Kuta, which is practically part of Denpasar's urban area, and Ubud, situated at the north of Denpasar, is the island's cultural center. Three small islands lie to the immediate southeast and all are administratively part of the Klungkun Regency of Bali, Nusa Panita, Nusa Lambangan and Nusa Seningan. These islands are separated from Bali by the Badung Strait. To the east, the Lombok Strait separates Bali from Lombok and marks the biogeographical division between the fauna of the Indomalayan ecozone and the distinctly different fauna of Australasia. The transition is known as the Wallace Line, named after Alfred Russell Wallace, who first proposed a transition zone between these two major biomes. When sea levels dropped during the Pleistocene Ice Age, Bali was connected to Java and Sumatra and to the mainland of Asia and shared the Asian fauna, but the deep water of the Lombok Strait continued to keep Lombok Island and the Lesser Sunda Archipelago isolated. <laughs> Climate Being just 8 degrees south of the equator, Bali has a fairly even climate all year round. Average year-round temperature stands at around 30 degrees Celsius 86 degrees Fahrenheit with a humidity level of about 85%. Daytime temperatures at low elevations vary between 20 to 33 degrees Celsius 68 to 91 degrees Fahrenheit, but the temperatures decrease significantly with increasing elevation. The west monsoon is in place from approximately October to April, and this can bring significant rain, particularly from December to March. During rainy season there is comparatively fewer tourists seen in Bali. During the Easter and Christmas holidays the weather is very unpredictable. Outside of the monsoon period, humidity is relatively low and any rain is unlikely in lowland areas. Ecology <inaudible> 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 Bali lies just to the west of the Wallace Line, and thus has a fauna that is Asian in character, with very little Australasian influence, and has more in common with Java than with Lombok. An exception is the yellow-crested cockatoo, a member of a primarily Australasian family. There are around 280 species of birds, including the critically endangered Bali mina, which is endemic. Others include barn swallow, black naped oriole, black racket tailed treepy, crested serpent eagle, crested tree swift, dollarbird, java sparrow, lesser adjutant, long tailed shrike, milky stork, pacific swallow, red rumped swallow, sacred kingfisher, sea eagle, wood swallow, savanna nightjar, stork billed kingfisher, yellow vented bulbul, and great egret. Until the early 20th century, Bali was home to several large mammals the wild banteng, leopard, and the endemic Bali tiger. The Bantang still occurs in its domestic form, whereas leopards are found only in neighboring Java, and the Bali tiger is extinct. The last definite record of a tiger on Bali dates from 1937, when one was shot, though the subspecies may have survived until the 1940s or 1950s. Squirrels are quite commonly encountered, less often as the Asian palm civet, which is also kept in coffee farms to produce kopi luwak. Bats are well represented, perhaps the most famous place to encounter them remaining is the Goa Lawa Temple of the Bats where they are worshipped by the locals and also constitute a tourist attraction. They also occur in other cave temples, for instance at Ganga Beach. Two species of monkey occur. The crab-eating macaque, known locally as Kara, is quite common around human settlements and temples, where it becomes accustomed to being fed by humans, particularly in any of the three monkey forest temples, such as the popular one in the Ubud area. They are also quite often kept as pets by locals. The second monkey, endemic to Java and some surrounding islands such as Bali, is far rarer and more elusive and is the Javan langur, locally known as looting. 
They occur in few places apart from the Bali Bharat National Park. They are born an orange color, though by their first year they would have already changed to a more blackish coloration. In Java however, there is more of a tendency for this species to retain its juvenile orange color into adulthood, and a mixture of black and orange monkeys can be seen together as a family. Other rarer mammals include the leopard cat, Sunda pangolin and black giant squirrel. Snakes include the king cobra and reticulated python. The water monitor can grow to at least 1.5 meters feet in length and 50 kilograms 110 pounds and can move quickly. The rich coral reefs around the coast, particularly around popular diving spots such as Tulamban, Amd, Manjangan or neighboring Nusa Panita, host a wide range of marine life, for instance hawksbill turtle, giant sunfish, giant manta ray, giant moray eel, bumphead parrotfish, hammerhead shark, reef shark, barracuda, and sea snakes. Dolphins are commonly encountered on the north coast near Singaraja and Lavina. A team of scientists conducted a survey from 29 April 2011 to of May 2011 at 33 sea sites around Bali. They discovered 952 species of reef fish of which eight were new discoveries at Pemuturan, Gilamanuk, Nusa Dua, Tulamban and Candidasa, and 393 coral species, including two new ones at Paddingbai and between Paddingbai and Amd. The average coverage level of healthy coral was 36%, better than in Raja Ampat and Halmahera by 29% or in Fakfak and Kaimana by 25%, with the highest coverage found in Gili Salong and Gili Mimpeng in Kandadasa, Karangasam Regency. Among the larger trees the most common are, banyan trees, jackfruit, coconuts, bamboo species, acacia trees and also endless rows of coconuts and banana species. Numerous flowers can be seen, hibiscus, frangipani, bougainvillea, poinsettia, oleander, jasmine, water lily, lotus, roses, begonias, orchids and hydrangeas exist. On higher grounds that receive more moisture, for instance around Kintamani, certain species of fern trees, mushrooms and even pine trees thrive well. Rice comes in many varieties. Other plants with agricultural value include, salak, mangosteen, corn, kintamani orange, coffee and water spinach. Environment Some of the worst erosion has occurred in Labi Beach, where up to 7 meters 23 feet of land is lost every year. Decades ago, this beach was used for holy pilgrimages with more than 10,000 people, but they have now moved to Moscheti Beach, from ranked third in previous review. In 2010, Bali got score 99.65 of Indonesia's Environmental Quality Index and the highest of all the 33 provinces. The score measured three water quality parameters, the level of total suspended solids TSS, dissolved oxygen DO, and chemical oxygen demand COD. .Because of over-exploitation by the tourist industry which covers a massive land area, 200 out of 400 rivers on the island have dried up and based on research, the southern part of Bali would face a water shortage up to 2,500 litres of clean water per second by 2015. To ease the shortage, the central government plans to build a water catchment and processing facility at Petanu River in Gyanyar. The 300 litres capacity of water per second will be channeled to Denpasar, Badung and Gyanyar in 2013. Plastic pollution Last year Bali received nearly 5.7 million tourists, according to the regional government. In late 2017 officials declared a «garbage emergency» in response to the covering of 3.6-mile stretch of coastline in plastic waste brought in by the tide, amid concerns that the pollution could dissuade visitors from returning. Indonesia is one of the world's worst plastic polluters, with some estimates suggesting that the 260 million population, 3,000-mile wide, 17,000 island archipelago is the source of around 10% of the world's plastic waste. Indonesia's capital city Jakarta features several huge rubbish dumps and it is common to see swaths of plastics bobbing on the city's few waterways. Administrative divisions The province is divided into eight regencies and one city These are Economy 
In 1970s, the Balinese economy was largely agriculture based in terms of both output and employment. Tourism is now the largest single industry in terms of income, and as a result, Bali is one of Indonesia's wealthiest regions. In 2003, around 80% of Bali's economy was tourism related. By end of June 2011, non performing loan of all banks in Bali were 2.23%, lower than the average of Indonesian banking industry non performing loan. About 5%. The economy, however, suffered significantly as a result of the Islamists' terrorist bombings 2002 and 2005. The tourism industry has since recovered from these events. Agriculture Although tourism produces the GDP's largest output, agriculture is still the island's biggest employer. Fishing also provides a significant number of jobs. Bali is also famous for its artisans who produce a vast array of handicrafts, including batik and ikat cloth and clothing, wooden carvings, stone carvings, painted art and silverware. Notably, individual villages typically adopt a single product, such as wind chimes or wooden furniture. The Arabica coffee production region is the highland region of Kintamani near Mount Bachur. Generally, Balinese coffee is processed using the wet method. This results in a sweet, soft coffee with good consistency. Typical flavors include lemon and other citrus notes. Many coffee farmers in Kintamani are members of a traditional farming system called Subak Abian, which is based on the Hindu philosophy of Trihita Karana. According to this philosophy, the three causes of happiness are good relations with God, other people, and the environment. The Subak Abian system is ideally suited to the production of fair trade and organic coffee production. Arabica coffee from Kintamani is the first product in Indonesia to request a geographical indication. Tourism In 1963 the Bali Beach Hotel in Sanur was built by Sukarno, and boosted tourism in Bali. Prior to it, there were only three hotels on the island. Construction of hotels and restaurants began to spread throughout Bali. Tourism further increased on Bali after the Nagura Rai International Airport opened in 1970. The Bulilang Regency government encouraged the tourism sector as one of the mainstays for economic progress and social welfare. The tourism industry is primarily focused in the south, while also significant in the other parts of the island. The main tourist locations are the town of Kuta with its beach, and its outer suburbs of Legian and Semenayak which were once independent townships, the east coast town of Sanur once the only tourist hub, Ubud towards the center of the island, to the south of the Nagura Rai International Airport, Jimbaran and the newer developments of Nusa Dua and Pekatu. The United States government lifted its travel warnings in 2008. The Australian government issued an advisory on Friday, 4 May 2012, with the overall level of this advisory lowered to exercise a high degree of caution. The Swedish government issued a new warning on Sunday, 10 June 2012 because of one tourist who died from methanol poisoning. Australia last issued an advisory on Monday, 5 January 2015 due to new terrorist threats. An offshoot of tourism is the growing real estate industry. Bali's real estate has been rapidly developing in the main tourist areas of Kuta, Legian, Semenayak and Abaroi. Most recently, high-end five-star projects are under development on the Bukit Peninsula, on the south side of the island. Expensive villas are being developed along the cliff sides of South Bali, with commanding panoramic ocean views. Foreign and domestic, many Jakarta individuals and companies are fairly active, investment into other areas of the island also continues to grow. Land prices, despite the worldwide economic crisis, have remained stable. In the last half of 2008, Indonesia's currency had dropped approximately 30% against the US dollar, providing many overseas visitors improved value for their currencies. Bali's tourism economy survived the Islamists' terrorist bombings of 2002 and 2005, and the tourism industry has slowly recovered and surpassed its pre terrorist bombing levels. The long term trend has been a steady increase of visitor arrivals. In 2010, Bali received 2.57 million foreign tourists, which surpassed the target of 2.0 to 2.3 million tourists. 
The average occupancy of starred hotels achieved 65%, so the island still should be able to accommodate tourists for some years without any addition of new rooms, hotels, although at the peak season some of them are fully booked. Bali received the Best Island Award from Travel and Leisure in 2010. Bali won because of its attractive surroundings both mountain and coastal areas, diverse tourist attractions, excellent international and local restaurants, and the friendliness of the local people. The Balinese culture and its religion are also considered as the main factor of the award. One of the most prestigious events that symbolizes a strong relationship between a god and its followers is Kachak dance. According to BBC Travel released in 2011, Bali is one of the world's best islands, ranking second after Santorini, Greece. In August 2010, the film Eat Pray Love was released. The film was based on Elizabeth Gilbert's best selling memoir Eat, Pray, Love. It took place at Ubud and Padang Padang Beach at Bali. The 2006 book, which spent 57 weeks at the No. One spot on the New York Times paperback nonfiction bestseller list, had already fueled a boom in eat, pray, love-related tourism in Ubud, the hill town and cultural and tourist center that was the focus of Gilbert's quest for balance through traditional spirituality and healing that leads to love. In January 2016, after musician David Bowie died, it was revealed that in his will, Bowie asked for his ashes to be scattered in Bali, conforming to Buddhist rituals. He had visited and performed in a number of Southeast Asian cities early in his career, including Bangkok and Singapore. Since 2011, China has displaced Japan as the second largest supplier of tourists to Bali, while Australia still tops the list, while India has also emerged as a greater supply of tourists. Chinese tourists increased by 17% from last year due to the impact of ACFTA and new direct flights to Bali. In January 2012, Chinese tourists year-on-year -year increased by 222.18% compared to January 2011, while Japanese tourists declined by 23.54% YOY. Bali authorities reported the island had 2.88 million foreign tourists and 5 million domestic tourists in 2012, marginally surpassing the expectations of 2.8 million foreign tourists. Based on a Bank Indonesia survey in May 2013, 34.5 0.39% of tourists are upper middle class, spending between $1,286 to $5,592, and are dominated by Australia, India, France, China, Germany and the UK. Some Chinese tourists have increased their levels of spending from previous years. 30.26% of tourists are middle class, spending between $662 to $1,285. In 2017 it was expected that Chinese tourists would outnumber Australian tourists. Transportation The Nagura Rai International Airport is located near Jimbaran, on the isthmus at the southernmost part of the island. Lt. Col. This new airfield is on the northwest Bali. A coastal road circles the island, and three major two-lane arteries cross the central mountains at passes reaching to 1,750 meters in height at Penelokan. The Nagura Rai Bypass is a four-lane expressway that partly encircles Denpasar. Bali has no railway lines. In December 2010 the Government of Indonesia invited investors to build a new Tana AMPO cruise terminal at Karangasam, Bali with a projected worth of $30 million. On 17 July 2011 the first cruise ship Sun Princess anchored about 400 metres 1, feet away from the wharf of Tana AMPO Harbour. The current pier is only 154 metres 505 feet but will eventually be extended to 300 to 350 metres 980 to 1,150 feet to accommodate international cruise ships. The harbour is safer than the existing facility at Banoa and has a scenic backdrop of East Bali Mountains and green rice fields. The tender for improvement was subject to delays, and as of July 2013 the situation was unclear with cruise line operators complaining and even refusing to use the existing facility at Tana AMPO. A memorandum of understanding has been signed by two ministers, Bali's governor and Indonesian train company to build 565 kilometers 351 miles of railway along the coast around the island. As of July 2015, no details of this proposed railways have been released. On the 16th of March 2011, Tanjung, Banoa Port received the 
Best Port Welcome 2010 award from London's Dream World Cruise Destination magazine. Government plans to expand the role of Banoa Port as export import port to boost Bali's trade and industry sector. In 2013, the Tourism and Creative Economy Ministry advised that 306 cruise liners were scheduled visit Indonesia, an increase of 43% compared to the previous year. In May 2011, an Integrated Aerial Traffic Control System ATCS was implemented to reduce traffic jams at four crossing points, Nagura Rai Statue, Diwa Rusi Kuta Crossing, Jimbaran Crossing and Sanur Crossing. ATCS is an integrated system connecting all traffic lights, CCDVs and other traffic signals with a monitoring office at the police headquarters. It has successfully been implemented in other ASEAN countries and will be implemented at other crossings in Bali. On 21 December 2011 construction started on the Nusa Dua Banoa Nagura Rai International Airport Toll Road which will also provide a special lane for motorcycles. This has been done by seven state-owned enterprises led by PTJASA Marga with 60% of shares. PTJASA Marga Bali Tall will construct the 9.91 km long 6 .16 mile toll road totally 12.7 km 7.89 miles with access road. The construction is estimated to cost Rp. 2.49 trillion .9 million. The project goes through 2 km 1 mile of mangrove forest and through 2.3 km 1.4 miles of beach, both within 5.4 hectares 13 acres area. The elevated toll road is built over the mangrove forest on 18,000 concrete pillars which occupied 2 hectares of mangroves forest. This was compensated by the planting of 300,000 mangrove trees along the road. On 21 December 2011 the Diwa Rusi 450-metre 1,480-foot underpass has also started on the busy Diwa Rusi junction near Bali Kuta Galleria with an estimated cost of Rp 136 billion .9 million from the state budget. On 23 September 2013, the Bali Mandara toll road was opened, with the Diwa Rusi junction Simpang Sior underpass being opened previously. To solve chronic traffic problems, the province will also build a toll road connecting Sarangan with Topati, a toll road connecting Kuta, Denpasar and Topati and a flyover connecting Kuta and Nagura Rai Airport. Demographics <laughs> 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 The population of Bali was 3,890,757 as of the 2010 census. The latest estimate for January 2014 is 4,225,384. There are an estimated 30,000 expatriates living in Bali. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Ethnic origins. A DNA study in 2005 by Karafet et al. found that 12% of Balinese Y chromosomes are of likely Indian origin, while 84% are of likely Austronesian origin, and 2% of likely Melanesian origin. The study does not correlate the DNA samples to the Balinese caste system. Caste <coughs> <coughs> system <coughs> 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 Pre-modern Bali had four castes, as Jeff Lewis and Belinda Lewis state, but with a very strong tradition of communal decision-making and interdependence. The four castes have been classified as Soedra Shudra, Weija Vaishyas, Satriyas Kshatriyas, and Brahmana Brahman. The 19th-century scholars such as Crawford and Friedrich suggested that Balinese caste had Indian origins, but Helen Kreese states that scholars such as Brummond who had visited and stayed on the island of Bali suggested that his field observations conflicted with the "...received understandings concerning its Indian origins." In Bali, the Shudra locally spelled Soedra have typically been the temple priests, though depending on the demographics, a temple priest may also be from the other three castes. In most regions, it has been the Shudra who typically make offerings to the gods on behalf of the Hindu devotees, chant prayers, recite Miweda Vedas, and set the course of Balinese temple festivals. Religion. 
Unlike most of Muslim-majority Indonesia, about 83.5% of Bali's population adheres to Balinese Hinduism, formed as a combination of existing local beliefs and Hindu influences from mainland Southeast Asia and South Asia. Minority religions include Islam Christianity and Buddhism .The general beliefs and practices of Agama Hindu Dharma are a mixture of ancient traditions and contemporary pressures placed by Indonesian laws that permit only monotheist belief under the national ideology of Panka Sila. Traditionally, Hinduism in Indonesia had a pantheon of deities and that tradition of belief continues in practice. Further, Hinduism in Indonesia granted freedom and flexibility to Hindus as to when, how and where to pray. However, officially, Indonesian government considers and advertises Indonesian Hinduism as a monotheistic religion with certain officially recognized beliefs that comply with its national ideology. Indonesian school textbooks describe Hinduism as having one supreme being, Hindus offering three daily mandatory prayers, and Hinduism as having certain common beliefs that in part parallel those of Islam. Scholars contest whether these Indonesian government recognized and assigned beliefs reflect the traditional beliefs and practices of Hindus in Indonesia before Indonesia gained independence from Dutch colonial rule. Balinese Hinduism has roots in Indian Hinduism and Buddhism, that arrived through Java. Hindu influences reached the Indonesian archipelago as early as the 1st century. Historical evidence is unclear about the diffusion process of cultural and spiritual ideas from India. Java legends refer to Sakha era, traced to 78 AD. Stories from the Mahabharata epic have been traced in Indonesian islands to the 1st century, however, the versions mirror those found in southeast Indian peninsular region now Tamil Nadu and southern Karnataka Andhra Pradesh. The Bali tradition adopted the pre-existing animistic traditions of the indigenous people. This influence strengthened the belief that the gods and goddesses are present in all things. Every element of nature, therefore, possesses its own power, which reflects the power of the gods. A rock, tree, dagger, or woven cloth is a potential home for spirits whose energy can be directed for good or evil. Balinese Hinduism is deeply interwoven with art and ritual. Ritualizing states of self-control are a notable feature of religious expression among the people, who for this reason have become famous for their graceful and decorous behavior. Apart from the majority of Balinese Hindus, there also exist Chinese immigrants whose traditions have melded with that of the locals. As a result, these Sino-Balinese not only embrace their original religion, which is a mixture of Buddhism, Christianity, Taoism and Confucianism, but also find a way to harmonize it with the local traditions. Hence, it is not uncommon to find local Sino-Balinese during the local temples Odalan. Moreover, Balinese Hindu priests are invited to perform rites alongside a Chinese priest in the event of the death of a Sino-Balinese. Nevertheless, the Sino-Balinese claim to embrace Buddhism for administrative purposes, such as their identity cards. Language Balinese and Indonesian are the most widely spoken languages in Bali, and the vast majority of Balinese people are bilingual or trilingual. The most common spoken language around the tourist areas is Indonesian, as many people in the tourist sector are not solely Balinese, but migrants from Java, Lombok, Sumatra, and other parts of Indonesia. There are several indigenous Balinese languages, but most Balinese can also use the most widely spoken option, modern common Balinese. The usage of different Balinese languages was traditionally determined by the Balinese caste system and by clan membership, but this tradition is diminishing. Kawi and Sanskrit are also commonly used by some Hindu priests in Bali, as Hindu literature was mostly written in Sanskrit. English and Chinese are the next most common languages and the primary foreign languages of many Balinese, owing to the requirements of the tourism industry, as well as the English-speaking community and huge Chinese-Indonesian population. Other foreign languages, such as Japanese, Korean, French, Russian or German are often used in multilingual signs for foreign tourists. Culture Bali is renowned for its diverse and sophisticated art forms, such as painting, sculpture, woodcarving, handcrafts, and performing arts. Balinese cuisine is also distinctive. Balinese percussion orchestra music, known as gamelan, is highly developed and varied. 
Balinese performing arts often portray stories from Hindu epics such as the Ramayana but with heavy Balinese influence. Famous Balinese dances include Pendit, Legong, Baris, Toping, Barong, Gong Kibar, and Kachak the monkey dance. Bali boasts one of the most diverse and innovative performing arts cultures in the world, with paid performances at thousands of temple festivals, private ceremonies, or public shows. Festivals Throughout the year, there are a number of festivals celebrated locally or island wide according to the traditional calendars. The Hindu New Year, Nippi, is celebrated in the spring by a day of silence. On this day, everyone stays at home and tourists are encouraged or required to remain in their hotels. On the day before New Year, large and colorful sculptures of Ogo Ogo monsters are paraded and finally burned in the evening to drive away evil spirits. Other festivals throughout the year are specified by the Balinese Pawakan calendrical system. Celebrations are held for many occasions such as a tooth filing coming of age ritual, cremation or odalan temple festival. One of the most important concepts that Balinese ceremonies have in common is that of Deza Kala Patra, which refers to how ritual performances must be appropriate in both the specific and general social context. Many of the ceremonial art forms such as weighing culet and toping are highly improvisatory, providing flexibility for the performer to adapt the performance to the current situation. Many celebrations call for a loud, boisterous atmosphere with lots of activity and the resulting aesthetic, rame, is distinctively Balinese. Often two or more gamelan ensembles will be performing well within earshot, and sometimes compete with each other to be heard. Likewise, the audience members talk amongst themselves, get up and walk around, or even cheer on the performance, which adds to the many layers of activity and the liveliness typical of Rame. Kaya and Kelad are the Balinese equivalents of North and South, which refer to one's orientation between the island's largest mountain gunning Aging Kaya, and the sea Kelad. In addition to spatial orientation, Kaya and Kelad have the connotation of good and evil. Gods and ancestors are believed to live on the mountain whereas demons live in the sea. Buildings such as temples and residential homes are spatially oriented by having the most sacred spaces closest to the mountain and the unclean places nearest to the sea. Most temples have an inner courtyard and an outer courtyard which are arranged with the inner courtyard furthest Kaya. These spaces serve as performance venues since most Balinese rituals are accompanied by any combination of music, dance and drama. The performances that take place in the inner courtyard are classified as wali, the most sacred rituals which are offerings exclusively for the gods, while the outer courtyard is where babali ceremonies are held, which are intended for gods and people. Lastly, performances meant solely for the entertainment of humans take place outside the walls of the temple and are called bali balahan. This three-tiered system of classification was standardized in 1971 by a committee of Balinese officials and artists to better protect the sanctity of the oldest and most sacred Balinese rituals from being performed for a paying audience. Tourism, Bali's chief industry, has provided the island with a foreign audience that is eager to pay for entertainment, thus creating new performance opportunities and more demand for performers. The impact of tourism is controversial since before it became integrated into the economy, the Balinese performing arts did not exist as a capitalist venture, and were not performed for entertainment outside of their respective ritual context. Since the 1930s sacred rituals such as the Barong dance have been performed both in their original contexts, as well as exclusively for paying tourists. This has led to new versions of many of these performances which have developed according to the preferences of foreign audiences. Some villages have a barong mask specifically for non-ritual performances as well as an older mask which is only used for sacred performances. Balinese society continues to revolve around each family's ancestral village to which the cycle of life and religion is closely tied. Coercive aspects of traditional society, such as customary law sanctions imposed by traditional authorities such as village councils including Kasepakane or shunning have risen in importance as a consequence of the democratization and decentralization of Indonesia since 1998. Other than Balinese sacred rituals and festivals, the government presents Bali Arts Festival to showcase Bali's performing arts and various artworks produced by the local talents that they have. It is held once a year, from second week of June until end of July. 
Southeast Asia's biggest annual festival of words and ideas Ubud Writers and Readers Festival is held at Ubud in October, which is participated by the world's most celebrated writers, artists, thinkers and performers. Sports Bali is a major world surfing destination with popular breaks dotted across the southern coastline and around the offshore island of Nusa Lembongan. As part of the Coral Triangle, Bali, including Nusa Panita, offers a wide range of dive sites with varying types of reefs, and tropical aquatic life. Bali was the host of 2008 Asian Beach Games. It was the second time Indonesia hosted an Asia-level multi-sport event, after Jakarta held the 1962 Asian Games. In football, Bali is home to the football club Bali United, which plays in the Liga 1. The team was relocated from Samarinda, East Kalimantan to Gyanyar, Bali. Harbian Shia Hanafia, the main commissioner of Bali United explained that he changed the name and moved the home base because there were no representative from Bali in the highest football tier in Indonesia. Another reason was due to local fans in Samarinda prefer to support Pusamania Borneo FC more than Persisim. Topic. Heritage sites In June 2012, Subak, the irrigation system for paddy fields in Jatiluwa, central Bali was enlisted as a natural UNESCO World Heritage Site. Topic. Beauty pageant Bali was the host of Miss World 2013 63rd edition of the Miss World pageant. It was the first time Indonesia hosted an international beauty pageant. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> International partnerships. Penang, Malaysia. Topic: <laughs> Gallery. See also Balinese Hinduism Balinese architecture Balinese temple Balinese dance Tourism in Indonesia Culture of Indonesia <laughs>